Hey guys, Collar here, bringing you Game 4 of Air Force Ace vs. Hambit Stars, and we have here Oversky vs. Gwemchi. Oversky, of course, being the best Zerg player on the Ace team. Gwemchi, uh, on the right here, is a new Protoss player. Don't know much about him. He's 1-1 one one against Zerg. Uh, Oversky, meanwhile, is 51% against um, Protoss. So uh, we'll be seeing an interesting match here on Katrina, and Katrina, of course, is uh, statistically quite imbalanced against Zerg. In the Zerg versus Protoss lineup, it's uh, according to the Team Liquid database, it's 15 to 29, so uh, a two to one ratio of Protoss versus Zerg wins. I think it's because the Protoss can get their second expansion, their second base, and their uh, second gas so quickly that uh, it just makes it so much more difficult for for the Zerg player, especially because the Protoss can just wall off. They don't even have to go for a Forge, forge first. He can even go for a Gateway first and still be able to pick up their uh, their second base because it's, uh, of course, an interior expansion. Anyway, we have Oversky here spawning in blue at the 6 o'clock position, and uh, we have Gwemchi spawning in white at the 3 o'clock position. So Oversky is going to have to come overcome a slightly imbalanced map here uh, in order to win against Gwemchi and seal the victory for uh, Air Force Ace. Air Force Ace, of course, up 2-1 in this series so far. And Pylon being built here at the proper position for a Bisu build or for a Gateway First build for uh, Gwemchi. And looks like he's going to be going for an early scout here. Or maybe not. Looks like, yeah, an early scout here. Uh, going out with a scout after the Pylon. And uh, I was expecting Oversky, well, Oversky could possibly be going for a rush, although I think it's very difficult to pull off, and you really have to know your opponent uh, is going to be going for something really risky uh, in order to do it. Uh, more than likely, we're going to see him going for a 12-hatchery uh, and maybe even go for a second expansion if he sees the Protoss is going fast expand uh, Forge first. That is the correct counter to deal with that, of course. And looks like uh, Forge first is uh, is, is what um, Gwemchi is going to do here. And looks like... Uh, Probably a 12 hatchery from Oversky. Pretty standard opening here. So yeah, uh, I'm going to give my obligatory shout out to SC2GD.com. Of course, absolutely great site. Uh, all sorts of commentaries coming up um, for the OSL and MSL groups. Uh, OSL is into the round of 16, so we'll be seeing some exciting uh, matches coming up. I'm going to be doing at least one day full of commentaries there. And uh, MSL is finishing in its group series, and this guy is just... Uh, just falling asleep on his friend's shoulder. That's pretty cute there. Make a good couple. Uh, spawning pool now going up for Oversky inside his base. And he's going to get a scout on in uh, Grimshi's base. Grimshi going for his nexus before a cannon is being built. So uh, seeing that fast expand himself. And uh, we'll see if Oversky decides to go for a second expansion or not. And nexus is gone up for Grim has gone up for Grimshi. Meanwhile, uh, Drone now harassing the probe away from his base. And it looks like the dude's woken up, actually, and he's getting laughed at, so uh, he's getting a good laugh out of it, I guess. Interesting. Um, I'd love to be in the crowd for one of these, to be honest. Uh, Korea just seems like a really interesting place to, to go to. Uh, I love I love Korean food, actually. I've had uh, kimchi quite a few times, and um, it's I like the spicy Korean barbecue. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, I like spicy food. I can handle it. Um, I'm a man. I can handle spicy Korean food. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like drones were just being produced there from Oversky, so uh, may maybe he made them look like they were Zerglings, but they were only drones. Uh, obviously, he doesn't need many Zerglings. And Oversky, by the way, has gone for a second expansion at the uh, inside. Uh, at the central position, central six o'clock position, I guess you'd call it, and that's going to get him a third gas. So if he manages to hold it, he's going to be quite successful. But it is way out in the middle of the map, of course. So uh, once the Protoss player scouts it, he's going to be probably going to be focusing his early attentions towards it. We'll see if um, we'll see if Grimchi decides to go for a very standard uh, Bisu build into uh, Corsairs and then Dark Templar or something like that, or if he does uh, something deviating from that, maybe Corsair Reaver or something. No gas going up for uh, Oversky. It's Oversky going for a big Zergling rush here, actually. Uh, fourth hatchery going up inside his base here. And I don't... Well, actually, no. I think he's gotten gas at his natural expansion. Uh, I'll correct that because the gas is easier to mine there. Yeah, he has gone for his extractor, but this is a way late extractor. And unfortunately for him, Gwenchi's uh, spotted this by now. He's going to know he, Oversky's going for a big rush here. Uh, no tech rush. It's probably going to be an all-in Zergling rush here. Well, not really all-in because he does have all those hatcheries, but... um. It's certainly a very early and, and uh, low-tech rush here. Uh, uh, perhaps he's going to get his, hydro his Hydralist den soon. Uh, I do believe he will need that to deal with uh, the incoming Corsairs, which are probably going to be thrown against him. 
but um, he has gotten that hatchery up, so who knows, maybe a lot of Zerglings could be possible. And looks like a couple of Zealots being created here for being pushed out a little bit for Gwemchi. Still just one cannon though, I guess he's just going to wait and wait until he figures out exactly what Orvis guy is going to do, and then plant enough cannons to protect himself against it. Uh, so far that probe just continues to be really annoying, so a good probe micro there. Continuing his scouting of Oversky's base and robotics facility going up actually first for Gwemchi. Really interesting here. Uh, even though he saw the completely lack, the complete lack of tech that Oversky had, he went for a robotics facility first. So maybe going for a fast reaver drop, seeing how to, seeing how spread out Oversky is. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's the best strategy though, because Oversky uh, can just go for well, I guess Hydras aren't exactly the correct counter, but um. Whatever, I mean, it looks like actually a uh, Scarge is going up here, so it is Corsair Reaver, it seems. Uh, the Overlord is going to spot it, though. He might not spot the... I don't think he's going to get in range of the Robotics facility. Oversky needs to click on it now to see it, to see what the building is. He's going to see the Stargate, but he's not going to see the Robotics facility, I think. So he might not suspect uh, Corsair Reaver. Of course, the way of dealing it is pretty similar. Uh, you do have to get your Hydrist in and get a couple Hydrist uh, first to protect your Overlords, and then, uh, of course, they can deal with Reavers also or Dark Templar. Another probe going in for the scout here, and uh, looks like Oversky once again won't be able to prevent it from getting in, unfortunately, uh, and it is going to get in, see this, but it uh, looks like Oversky is going to go for four hatchery uh, Hydralisks here, and of course that does work with your second expansion. If you do get a third base early on, you can go for a sort of a Sauron build, uh, Sauron Zerg build, which is when you uh, Zerg takes over a lot of the map and relies on a low-cost um, low-tech units like Hydras and Zerglings, but looks like actually not going for a pure Sauron build. He has gone for a Spire also, so a lot of tech going out for um, Oversky, but he has very few resources, very few units right now on the ground to deal with a, a Corsair attack right now, and looks like the shuttle is out quite early for uh, for um, Grimchi, and Grimchi might not even be waiting for a Reaver. He might be just going for a, a Zealot drop or something inside the back. It looks like he's been going for just that. Probably Zealots inside of the shuttle here. Four Zealots are being dropped in the back of Oversky's base. I'm not sure if Oversky has anything in the back of his base. Uh, and it's gonna be, these four Zealots are going to be really strong against uh, reinforcements if they come in piecemeal. Meanwhile, uh,